guess we're on. We're on our way to the river to go see if we can catch some bass. And uh, hey, it don't matter if it's a catfish or a brim, but we're going to try to catch some bass today on some spinner baits. And uh, we'll get y'all another video out. Subscribe to our channel if you will and give us a like. We're trying our best to make this channel work. And you can help us out if you will. Appreciate you doing that. And all those that have subscribed, appreciate you. God bless you. And it's a beautiful day. And God is good all the time. Hey guys, we here at the river, finally made it. Took us a while to get everything lined up. I done had one to hit, didn't have my GoPro out, but I got it out now. He struck at it, I'll show you what I'm using. I'm using, I call them old nasty spinner baits. Now I bought this one at Walmart. You may say, oh, come on, man. Well, let me tell you something. This orange and yellow is really good in the river. Anthony was fishing the other day and he, he, he started catching fish when he put orange on. Well, I've already had two hits on this and for sure I seen one strike at it, but he missed it. And um, these are just a dollar a piece at Walmart. You can't beat them. I just want to show you that. Ain't pretty. I tell you what, I'm hoping I'm going to catch about a five pound bass this evening. I'm going to show you this little paddle we bought. That paddle's not very long, probably about 36 inches, 38 inches. It's called Propel Paddle Gear and um, Shoreline Marine. Bought it at Walmart for four dollars and ninety-seven cents, I believe it was. These paddles are really good. You can put this thing down in the water. Let's just say you just want to ease around in the water and you don't want to use the big long pipe paddle. You can just work it like a fish. An old fish, that's why he does his gills to stay in water and move around. I can ease right up to his boat with this one paddle and not even take it out of the water. I'm just working it like this. And I'm, I'm pulling myself along. So I'm easing up to him. Just wanting to show you this paddle here is a great paddle. I've got this other paddle here stuck inside my seat. Got any paddle holders. We got our outriggers all the way out. We put an extra pin in these outriggers. You can see that. Put one in the wood so these things won't turn. And always keep a check on your glue and stuff where you glue these things together because don't want that glue to come undone. This morning I was going to drill holes and put those extra um, pins in there so it won't turn. We're just trying to help you out here so you don't get messed up, but make sure your glue is holding. And uh, most of that glue does hold, but I did have one of those things that had come loose. Don't think it would have went anywhere, but I did go buy some more glue, some of that pipe glue, PVC glue, that you get at the hardware store. But here's old and big, big AJ over here. I just call him Big AJ today. There he is. Yes, sir. Tell him how you feeling today, son. <laughs> Hey man, what he just said, I opened a bottle of water when we put in a while ago. I killed that bottle of water quick because, I mean, I sucked it down, 12 ounce bottle of water. And I think that's what, 20 ounce bottle of water, that's what it was. And I got two more left and we, I, I, we wish we had our straws with us today because we'd probably drink this river water, but I'm not gonna drink it without one of those um, straws. But uh, we'll get back at you with some fish. All right, guys, I just caught a monster. Let me show it to you if I can pull it up here. My soul, oh, my word, hang on. Oh, there he is, good night, woo. Had a hard time reeling that one in, but uh, I made it. No, I'm telling you, first catch of the night right here, that's all we got, wow. <laughs> hang on, little fella, I'll get you out there. Yeah, it's a little tiny one. <laughs> Good gracious, it looks like the exact same one. <laughs> Good gracious. Well, at least I can say I'm catching something. Something is better than nothing, I guess.
Might as well go ahead and get him on camera. Well, he's a small one. As a first time for everything. I've lost two bass today around the boat here. This is a little bitty old brim. He wasn't gonna come off. So we got one. here by myself uh, I showed you you know I had the uh, change it from the green to the orange now I put this pink tail on I've been trying with the orange all day and put this bright pink on there and now I caught that fish it's amazing this is different every day Still does. Let's go. Let's go. All right, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, there we go. Man, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! My father-in-law's up around the bend. He don't even know I'm catching him over here. I don't think he's gonna tell him neither. See you later. looking for me. I want him to see where I'm at. I want him to catch my fish. <laughs> you guys, I just missed one bass just a moment ago. thought I set the hook pretty hard. It's a little bit harder to set a hook in a kayak than it is a regular boat. I'm Texas rigging with a green worm. I was getting ready to change the color and I said, let me throw it a couple more times. And um, so I did had one and I had another hit after that about two more casts. I just want to pull this thing up and drop it back down let it drop down. Uh, well, that, the one that I almost got I was trying to cut this thing here on my GoPro. That's what I'm using slip sinker. You can see that and um, twists your line a little bit. Just want to show you what I'm using today. Hopefully I'll get one on. If I do I'll cut this thing back on. Yeah, it's a bass there. Alrighty. 